enak enak hmm. hola. hola welcome back to our channel yes today we are as you can tell by my shirt we're making a version of Mexican food it's not really Mexican ish the only thing that's really Mexican like is some of the seasoning that we're using. It's really, really delicioso. Mm -hmm. Delicioso. So I first uh, tried this uh, food when we were at your mom's house. Yes. Abba house. And when I taste it, just like few spoon. Oh my God. So delicioso. You need to see and you need to try make it at home because this is really really good and the ingredients you can uh, find easily in uh, Indonesia just uh, maybe uh, if you don't have jalapeno over there you can change with cabe uh, hijo cabe hijo yang gede gede It's not so, too spicy is it? Mm, no okay. no no it's not spicy So let's get started Okay Okay so here is the seasoning that I was talking about so inside this, we have two teaspoons of ground cumin, two teaspoons of dried oregano, two te or one teaspoon of ground uh, coriander, uh, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and two teaspoons of salt. We have a little bit of celery. This is uh, one whole jalapeno pepper. Bell pepper or uh, paprika, pap pap paprika, but uh, we didn't have any red ones, so we just have the, uh, the yellow ones. So that's fine. That'll be good for color. We, this is this recipe calls for a whole onion, but we're using our onions for something else. So this is just half of an onion. We have cilantro, which I'll pick that later, and of course we have our chicken. And this is all going to sit on. Uh, these are our white kidney beans. You need two cans of uh, the Cannonelli, Cannonelli beans. And all this is going to be cooked in the Instapot. Okay, if you don't have one of these, that's fine. You can cook them all in a, uh, uh, on a pot in the stove. Uh, we're also going to add some garlic and some avocado oil that we're going to saute this in. Look at these chickens, they're huge. Oh, and um, at the end, when we get finished, we're going to use not all of this, only maybe about this much of the, uh, this is the non-fat yogurt. The recipe calls for sour cream, but we're out of sour cream. So we can use some of this. And of course, you gotta have garlic. All right, so we calls for olive oil, but we're going to use avocado oil because that's what we do here. Last time we made this, we didn't use enough oil, so now I'm being a little bit uh, more, more, oil. more generous. And we go ahead and use the garlic. This calls for four cloves of garlic. We really like our garlic here. I mean, we really like our garlic. This is probably more garlic than what we need. So, and then we set it to uh, saute and we'll saute. Saute, to miss. To miss garlic dengan avocado oil selama dua menit. And we are also going to use chicken broth. We bought this, it's already pre-made. Uh, this recipe calls for one cup or about 250 milliliters, but we also like our chicken broth. So we're going to use maybe about 300, maybe 325 milliliters. Okay. So just a little bit over a cup for you American people. Okay, so this is all sauteed and it's not burned because we used enough oil this time. Good. So from here, we add our onions. And... Jalapeno. Celery. 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 Here's our jalapenos jalapeno. and our paprika. Cemplung kabeh. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and stir this up, even though it doesn't say to. But it's just an Instapot thing. But if you're cooking with a regular pot, I'm going to have to do it. But I'd like to do it. And you saute this for five more minutes. Okay. Saute five. All right. Oh. Cool. So we're using uh, quinoa instead of rice. Yeah, we're on a diet. We feel a little bit gonna do it <laughs> because of pandemic. And always stand here eating food. So, less carbohydrates. And, or actually no carbohydrates, I don't think. But it cooks just like rice. And it's healthy and it's good for you. Okay, now that it's done sautéing. Ooh, it smells good, yeah. really good. Now we're going to add the seasoning. And we're going to let that uh, saute for about one minute just to kind of get it all kind of mixed up. Mm. Can, you, can you smell that? Yes. What's the next? Uh, after this uh, uh, sautés for about a minute, mm -hmm. then we'll add the beans and the chicken and, and the broth. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sauté. Okay, now that that's all, mm. I I'm, shouldn't stick my face in here. I'm so hungry. I know. Yeah, it's, don't stick your face in there, it'll, it's <laughs> not good. So, now that we got that, now we add the beans that we've already rinsed and drained. And you guys go. Now this part, you don't have to stir. As I pick up the spoon, I'm just settling these. <laughs> don't have to stir. <laughs> yeah, don't have to stir. It. I grab the spoon and start stirring. No, I'm just uh, making sure it's not all lumped together on top. Now we add our chicken. Just set you guys right there on top. Look at these big American chicken breasts. You know. Everything mm. big in Texas. And, and that's. We add our broth. This is a little over a, a cup. Caldo ayam. Which is about, I don't know, what is that? 300 milliliters? Something like that? Almost? Uh, 200. No, yeah, yeah, 300. About 300. Okay. 300 milli caldo ayam. All right. All right. How now, many minutes? 15. So. Go on to pressure cook for 15 minutes. Press cook? Pressure cook. Pressure cook, okay. Yes. So if this is in a pot, you just throw it in there and just kind of cook and, and watch it. Okay. Until the chicken's, chicken's done. Now, in the meantime, uh, while this is cooking, I'm going to start uh, taking care of the cilantro. So we already got our fresh cilantro here. Start uh, peeling the leaves. Cilantro. Cilantro in uh, our bahasa means daun ketumbar, baby. Oh, it does? Mm -hmm. Daun what? Daun. Daun? Ketumbar. Ketumbar. Yes. Okay. So this asks for about a cup of it. I like it. So the cup, mm. that's about, that about much? this much. Oh. Okay. So, but now at the end I'll chop it up and... Uh, Throw it in there, but I'm not going to chop it up too fine. Just, just a little bit. So this will give me something to do while this is cooking. Okay, so chicken is all done. This has been depressurized. Oh. So. 
So, now we need to shred the chicken. Okay, so we're going to cut these this way first, so it'll make it a little bit easier to shred. Now some of these are going to be a little bit big, but that's okay because this will all get, uh, this will break apart even more once we put it back in and kind of stir it up. Okay, so all the chicken has been shredded up. Now we take our chicken, put it back inside. Then add our cilantro, which we have about a cup of. Yeah. Then go on our non fat yogurt, plain or sour cream if you have it. Do about a cup of that. Oops, stay up there. About a cup. Mm -hmm. In you guys go. Then uh, we're just going to stir it in there. Mix it all up. What is the name of the food? This is um, white. White. Chicken chili. Ooh. So some of the pieces that didn't quite break up when I was shredding the chicken, they're going to start to break up again. We're going to cook again? Uh, yeah, I would love to cook this again. This is this is quickly becoming one of my favorites, and it's very very easy. Easy to make and it makes quite a lot. This can this can feed about uh, four four to six people. Mm -hmm. You really stretch it out. And the uh, quinoa is done. Ooh. Quinoa is done. Yes. yes. All right. Okay, so this is all done. The uh, quinoa is done. This is going to go over the quinoa. And, of course, we're going to eat it. Quinoa. Quinoa. We cook this with a little bit of uh, avocado oil to keep it from sticking. And we threw a little bit of salt in there, too. I guess this one's going to be yours. You like having the little bit of extra broth in there. Yes, thank you. God, that's a lot. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? We can throw a little bit of cheese on there, too. Yes. Just a little bit. Don't, don't need to go yum, too yum, crazy yum, with yum, the yum. cheese. There we go. Gourmet Yay. meal and. and Let's no eat! Time. Yes. Mmm, that looks good. I'm gonna try, baby. Yes. I'm hungry, starving. Give it a try. 
Now, the last time we used, we cooked this, we used um, um, sour cream. Is this better? Oh. Better or about the same as last time? Oh, this is um, really good. Mm, same, same. About the same? So, so no problem you going to use the yogurt, plain yogurt or sour cream, same. Okay, good. I was a little bit worried about that. Mm. And not so Mexican. <laughs> yes, we, we have uh, tortilla chips we can, uh, we can use to dip in there. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Try to make this at home. Healthy food, delicioso. See you, amigos, amigas, subscribing our channel. Bye.